Hi everyone, this is Nelson Lime again. I'm here to show you some improvements we have made since the last video. Uh, like these features uh, and the edges. Uh, uh, we have a better in lighting environment right now. A little darker on the, the bottom. And we are using uh, atmospheric fog. Uh, the built-in one in the engine. Uh, so we can uh, kind of control the sun disk size a little bit. Um, post processing, we are using the convolution bloom, so we can have this a uh, little bit. But we are uh, uh, working in the voxel uh, with this effect a little bit, so you can like uh, make it look as sharper or not as we intended depending on the time of the day I borrowed the from the Cloudscape Seasons the the Sun and the Calendar Seasons uh, this is the one I can change the the times for, for the day and the Sun it is the one uh, it updates the uh, directional light it is acting like as our sun and I have uh, instead of just showing this uh, because we already have flying to the the clouds I have prepared a uh, executable so you can talk a little bit about performance as it is right now the it is still very work in progress but uh, and with a lot of things still to to tweak in the code and and other things so right now um, we have it like this we are running in full HG um, so this um, is like we have the cumulus features and as the FPS we are having this uh, of course uh, there is a little bit of milliseconds being spent by the there is some still some artifacts when the cloud is moving so you can see some flickering we can we can prove that we already have made this in Cloudscape Seasons. Uh, the far, uh, the far the clouds are, uh, this flickering you can't see them. Uh, but the closest one, the clouds are from the camera. You see that you still see those artifacts. So we, we definitely can get rid of them. We have made this from Cloudscape Seasons. And another thing that I want to show is. Uh, what about if we change while running here the scalability so right now we are working in epic so you can go to cinematic and you see we just got a little worse just a little bit worse high scalability we have a little bit more uh, frames per second uh, mid um, we still don't don't uh, properly fix it, the lighting because uh, all the textures uh, change a little bit. And what I want to show, let's skip this in Epic. So right now we are in Epic. Uh, what happens when we turn off the clouds? Because we are just not. Uh, using atmospheric fog, we are also drawing the depending on the sun position, the uh, uh, how the uh, the light scatter through the sky based on the sun position. So if we just get rid of the clouds, uh, you see that we basically don't have changes in the the the, the time for frames. Actually, uh, when you have the frames, it gets better. So this is very promising, and 
because no matter uh, if you have uh, that much or not for the clouds you still get um, nice performance o overall so uh, in cloud skip seasons there's be a marching if you don't have a volume uh, if you don't have a, a clouds so your frames improves and this is no matter if you have of the full white sky with completely covered with clouds you still have the same the same frames and this is really promising and I have made some uh, how to look uh, upon the right now we are in noon so I can like uh, select this as a morning um, actually we can do this better uh, it's still not as good as we think it can be and we have a a sunset it tells we can improve it a lot it did re realize that we don't know why we are getting so bad frame times uh, we're still working and figuring this but we definitely can can improve this and right now the, there is some flickering on the horizon um, because I am advancing here in the keyboard the time a little bit so this is something we have to work on uh, it, it looks like we have some lightning uh, storm in the horizon and uh, the sun is nice uh, we are using a really big size for it so you can have this uh, nice light shafts realize how the light uh, comes from the top of the clouds it's really nice so we can definitely improve this of course I am fastening the time changes here it is uh, easy to see these artifacts coming and going so if you are really going in, um, a little bit higher um, uh, like slowing down a little bit the, the time passing you will see uh, less artifacts but uh, we would like to have the independent of how fast is the time is passing we still get the same same results and morning seems okay but we can definitely improve and as we are having most most of the uh, development uh, going through uh, time of the day at, at noon because we, we like those uh, gray colors below the clouds because has that is where the density is accumulating so um, yeah and and the light it, let's the, the light is coming from the top that's why we have it, those darker down there and as we're expanding it's of course uh, uh, easy to understand why you are getting better shapes and better lighting during this time of the day than otherwise I, I hope you guys have enjoyed the project so far and thank you for watching bye bye